I hope you're all doing well. Uh, the weather is good. It's getting a bit warmer now. Hopefully you can get outside and enjoy some of that sunshine. My name's Teresa and I'll be teaching your lesson today. Our lesson today is based on Genesis 17, 1 through 7 and 15 through 16. Genesis is the first book in the Bible in the Old Testament. Our lesson is entitled, Without Any Arguments. Well, hmm, I know some parents are going to like this title. As people, we are often asked to do things. Sometimes we do things that uh, we don't want to do, but we, uh, other, uh, but we still do them. And um, other times uh, we want to refuse what we're asked to do. Well, in our story... God told Abraham, well, he was 99 at the time, if Abraham followed God, God would bless him with children and bless bless his, his family for generation to generation. Following God would mean that Abraham would serve God alone and not worship other gods. Well, our story begins. Abram, well, that was his name at the time, first learned God Abram first learned about God when he was a young man. All Abram's family and friends followed other religions and worshipped many gods. But Abram wanted to know one and only one God or God. So he spent his time praying and trying to live in a way that respected and cared for God's wonderful creation. Throughout Abram's life, long life, God spoke to him over and over again. Abram listened very carefully and tried to obey when he felt God was telling him to do something in particular, or something specific, I guess. God guided Abram and his wife, Sari, to live, leave their country and travel long distances over land. That's what they did over and over again. Well, God asked many times. They left their home, traveled to Canaan, went to the hill country of Bethel to the west, and also into Egypt, and then back to Bethel over and over again. They kept moving from place to place without any argument. They didn't argue with God. When Abram and his wife, Sarah, were very old and living near her bond of on the Jordan Valley, God spoke once more about a new beginning for them. Well, they were probably thinking, a new beginning at our age? Well, they had so many beginnings, but they loved God so much that they expect, anticipated another beginning, and without any argument, they did it. So what now, God, they asked. Well, this time, the promise that God had made surprised them and puzzled them. God said that God would look after them, bless them, and their children throughout generations. Well, they were. Abram was 99 years old and didn't have any children. What children was God talking about? God said God would take care of them, their family forever, but this made no sense to Sari and had never who had never had any babies and she felt she was a bit old to now become a mother to make it clear this was special new a special new beginning god asked them to change their names to abraham and sarah so so great was their love for god that they went along with god's wishes once again without any arguments well Abraham did laugh to himself, well, will a son be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Abraham and Sarah took on their new names and decided that all they could do was relax and let God guide them day by day in this new beginning. At least this time, God had not asked them to move. They felt comfortable knowing that Whatever, God, whatever young people followed them and became a part of their family, they would also experience God's goodness. Well, children, uh, boys and girls and everybody, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this story. 
because Abraham's faithfulness in following you, you blessing him and his family, in the same way you, sh you show your faithfulness to us as we follow you. You are never without your, we are with never, never without your protection. We are never without your love. Anytime you make promises, you always keep them. God, continue to journey with us as we seek to be your faithful followers throughout all generations. Amen. Well, it's been great spending time with you. Have a fantastic week. Uh, oh, by the way, Pastor Nancy has another outdoor gathering. We'll keep you posted as when we figure out exactly when. Remember to keep wearing your masks when going outside your home. Oh, wash your hands. Was that supposed to be 20 seconds? I think so. Well, I'll say goodbye until next time.